Chrissy Beauty, long time no see. I've been away for most of the month of August. Um, the month of August from now on in my life is actually going to be a month of, of reflection. It's been a very tough month for me. Um, the beginning of the month I got the news that my father had passed away and ever since then it's been very difficult to... I don't know, I've been dealing with that and trying to kind of, you know, find strength to, to continue to be happy and doing things that make me happy. But I needed to take some time away from the camera before I was able to, you know, to, to be able to actually tell you this kind of stuff without crying or anything like that. It's also very, still very sad, but I will get better all, all the time. So. Anyway, so without further ado, I still have some products that I use throughout the month that I want to share with you. A couple of like what they call lifestyle products and then a few beauty products. So I'm just going to jump in and talk to you about it. So first product I want to talk about is this foundation, the Giorgio Armani Mastro Foundation. I did a review uh, not long ago about this product. My shade is 4.5. And I really, really love this foundation. I feel like it lasts all day on my face and it gives me the natural look that I look for. I don't really like cakey or very heavy foundation. So this is very easy and it's easy to apply as well. If anything, applying with your fingers is even better than with a brush. So loving this foundation, um, that's been the only one. If I'm not wearing a BB cream, I, I wear this foundation. That's basically where I'm at these days. Then I have a few blush products that I always have every month and I have three products. So the first one is Benefit Bella Bamba. This kind of shade here, like this peachy, watermelony kind of shade is one of my favorite blush shades and I have quite a few of them. Uh, this blush, I don't know if it's because of the box so being so bulky all the time. Sometimes it just sits in the back of my drawer and I forget I have it. So this month I decided to give it a little love and the fact that it smells so nice too. Very good. That can't hurt. So this is one of them. The next one is Hot Mama by The Balm and I actually have that on my cheeks now. It It's along those lines of orgasm, um, some other, you know, there's like a, a long comb shade that's similar to this. This one I like very much and I have it on my cheeks now. And I do think that it has more gold flickery flicks than, than other shades similar to this. But still a beautiful blush if you like this kind of shade here too. It's along those lines as well, you know, like that peachy, peachy golden -y thing. And then the last one, I've had this, uh, it came with a kit that I got from Josie Moran a while ago. And I start using this uh, this month because uh, one of the things I decided to do um, to try to help me cope with all of this was to kind of focus a little bit on myself and start trying to take care of my body better than I have been in the past. So I went back to the gym like a couple of weeks ago. I've been exercising at home. I've been doing yoga, which I've always liked, but sometimes I, I go a while without doing it. So the reason I'm saying that is that I keep a few things, you know, makeup wise in my, my gym bag because the days I go to the gym, I shower in the gym and I get ready for work in the gym. So I try to keep products there that are easy to use. And this one became one, became one of my favorites and it's the, um, the mini color stick in rosy. And it's basically like a stick, a, a blush stick. And I think you can use this, it has this oily smell to it. Um, I think you can use this on your lips as well. Like it's a multi multi use kind of um, kind of product. I've been using it mostly for my cheeks as a blush um, and I like it very much. I think it gives me a nice flush on my on my skin and it's very natural so loving this one as well. Then I have an eyeliner which I mentioned before. It's the L'Oreal Silkissimi in black. I've been this is the eyeliner I put in my in my um, gym bag as well, and I've noticed this eyeliner lasting in my waterline all day long. Like I apply in the morning when I go to the gym, and, you know, I'm, before I, I you know, in the gym when I'm done with it, and then I go to work, and I notice that it stays in my waterline all day long. It's probably the first, the first ever that I've seen lasting this long in my waterline. So I'm really, really, really excited about this and I've been wearing it very much. And it's so black, it's like ink almost, you know? It's amazing, love, love, love this. And it's, it glides on on your waterline, upper, you know, tight line, like butter, it's amazing. No tugging, it's 
definitely, definitely a go. Um, another product that I've mentioned in the past that is the Physician's Formula uh, Eye Booster 2-in-1 Lash what is it called? Lash Boosting Eyeliner and Serum. This is just an, a very pointy, thin eyeliner that I love and I've, I have a backup of this already. I thought it was going out already with no more ink, but actually it comes back. I don't know what happens to this. And I love, love, love this product. I think it's amazing. I wish they would come out with a shade that's a, not a glossy black, because this one is sort of glossy, but doesn't bother me. I love it. It applies beautifully. You can do the thinnest line you want or you can do the most beautiful winged out eyeliner. This is a great tool for that. And the brush is actually, the point is actually a brush. It's not like a felt tip or anything. So it never loses its shape, which is amazing. So definitely a go. Then I have a, a lip product. I've mentioned this in the past as well. It's the one I have on my lips today. It's the uh, Rimmel Show Off in Comet. Comet? and shade 200, just an easy lip product, you know, nice color, nice pigmentation, it stays on for a while, I just like it, and it's comfortable on the lips, almost like a lip, a lip gloss, so I really love this stuff. Then I'm going to briefly talk about a new line of skincare that I've been using, and it's the brand Skin SkinCeuticals. I have a few products here that I have incorporated into my skincare routine, but I have others as well. So if you're interested in more uh, comments about these products, please let me know. A few that I like collected here to talk to you about today is the Sheer Physical UV Defense Sunscreen Bots Broad Spec. Yeah. Broad Spectrum SPF 50. This is that very liquidy um, sunscreen product that glides on your on your skin and it dries very quickly. It's amazing to, to wear under makeup. Um, I've been just, you know, this is my definitely morning uh, product on my face after I wash and clean it the, for, for sun protection basically. Then I also have this Eye Balm um, eye cream has a nice texture to it. It's very moisturizing and again absorbs very quickly. I was wearing, uh, I almost finished the um, Kiehl's avocado cream and I love that one for night, but in the morning it takes so long because it's so thick to uh, th for the skin to absorb that, that that shiny look under your eyes, I can't afford to, to wait until it dries out. So that I usually use it in the, in the evening, but in the morning I've been applying this one because it quickly absorbs um, in this into the skin and it's very moisturizing it's great love it then I have a mask which is something I'm normally very lazy about this is like a clay mask it's a clarifying clay mask actually when you first apply it on your skin it gives you this tingling um, feel to it because it's it has some other type of um, I forgot what the it's said in the box but it has some kind of either acid or something else in the formula. I'll have to look it up. But it's the Clarifying Clay Mask Deep Pore Cleansing Skin Refining Mask. And it's part of their correct line. So, you know, for dark spots and things like that. I apply this normally like once or twice a week tops because I'm kind of lazy with masks. But I love this product as well. And it just like tingles your skin. It almost makes you believe that it's actually doing the work, you know? It's silly, but it's true. And last but not least, it's a retinol product, and this is the Retinol 0.5 Refining Cream with the 0.5 Pure Retinol, also part of the Correct. So I've mentioned in the past, and I probably did video, I think, on the Retin-A routine that I've, I've, I've used Retin-A for a while. But Retin-A is the pure, pure version of the, the Vitamin A, and that's very strong. I had one that was a 0.4, or 0.1% and if I applied that every night my skin I would look like a I had raw, raw face you know because it's always peeling and it's very uncomfortable this one I've I've worn for a little while now and I don't I never apply every night probably one every other night and I feel doing the work like I feel like sometimes my skin will peel slightly but I don't feel any burning sensation I don't feel any craziness going on on my skin I think it, it handles very well and it's the retinol version of it so it's it's milder I believe so really liking this stuff as well 
Now just a quick random couple random products. One I want to talk about, and I actually have to be careful because I was actually burning it. It's the Bath and Body Works uh, Market Peach Candle. I bought this one and I actually have a backup of this over the summer. And I must say that this is probably my favorite. Ooh, it was burning before. It's definitely my favorite candle from Bath and Body Works. I think it's very mild. It's very true. To, like the scent is just like you're working, you're, you're walking through a farm or something, you know, picking up your peaches. It's just amazing. I love, love, love this candle. I think it, the smell is great. And this one is almost, almost empty. So I have one more as a backup. And then I fill up on my fall candles because I'm a big lover of the Bath and Body Works fall candles as well. So they will, they'll be in the favorite of a video soon. Then the last product I want to talk about is very, very random, but it's this big boaster that I bought from Amazon. It's a yoga boaster. And what I love this for is to do like restorative yoga po poses. So I like to put this, you know, lay on the on the floor. Uh, sometimes I put like a um, a block on, on top here, so it gives you a little, you know, um, inclination. And then I just lay on this and then you know extend my legs and just relax. It's one of the best things. One time I actually did this at night, and my husband had gone out. And I didn't realize I fell asleep. That's how relaxed I was with this, with the, in this position. I really, really love this bolster. In fact, I, you know, I stocked up a little bit on new yoga mats and things like that. So I'm really loving it. And this bolster has been definitely my favorite for this month. So that completes all my favorites, I believe. Um, I hope you had a great month. Um, I hope you had a great summer and you're ready to head into my favorite season of the year, which is fall. So if you have any questions about any product that I mentioned here, please don't hesitate to leave me a comment below. I'll look forward to seeing you soon and I'll see you next time. Bye.